markets are getting ready to shut down for the winter season. Yeah, we're checking back with your produce man, Michael Marks, who is out there this morning in Rancho Cordova at the final summer Saturday farm. Summer. You're at sunrise in Folsom. Yes, yes, yes. It's a year round farmer's market here. Uh, but this is the last one for summer. That's right. Next week is uh, is the first day of autumn. So, Ricky from Forest Floor, lightning round. What do we do with all these mushrooms? What do we do with the shiitake? So, we can stir fry it in garlic and butter. Pink and oyster it, mushroom. Uh, pork substitute. Great for pulled pork oh. and bacon bits. Regular oyster mushroom. Great for sauteing and pasta sauces. Chestnut, and chestnut mushroom. It's great for stir fry. Uh, lion's mane. Lion's mane. We got crab cake substitute or any crab like substitute there he did it ladies and gentlemen give Yay. it up ricky lightning round what do you do hey Not take a look master. at that those are some of my favorite asian pears it's called a tropical asian pear come over and take a look ladies and gentlemen here it is the last variety of yellow flesh peach on the market it's called a tray z and uh, here it is the last one the o henry was here but uh uh, guess what happened to the O'Henry? You sent what? way too much rain, and it destroyed whatever was on the oh, trees. Oh, so the O'Henry. Oh, Let's oh, go over Henry. and look at melons. Oh, go over and check and look at. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, come back here. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The first of the season. Uh, what? Persimmons. Oh my. Take a look at these. These are called a chocolate cake persimmon. Chocolate cake persimmon. Take a look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is the first of the entire Michael? season. So wow, you got it's so the last there. summer farmers market here. Can you hear yes, me, I did get excited because it's the first of the season of those persimmons. Michael. So take a look. Here's the final melons of the season. Yes. Uh, those are the persimmons that yes, you can Tina. bake with because you make the best persimmon cookies, and I would like you to bake some oh, for me. Oh, please. please. Thank you. <laughs> I will do some of those uh, when, when those come on, but those are not. A, hey, I'm going to come back here with you. Uh, this used to be Tecklenburg. Tecklenburg uh, Farming, uh, man, he grew some of the best melons on the face of the planet in oh. Lodi and uh, like 50, 60 years ago. Uh, your dad and uncle took it over, right? Yes, correct. We took it over from him. We've just been running it since. So how many uh, more weeks of melons, summer melons, are we going to have in the market? As of right now, it's looking like two weeks left, oh. potentially. No. The rest of September. Oh, no. then they're all oh my goodness, only two weeks left. So which melons have done really well this year? Because oh. it's been a tough year for you guys, right? Yeah, the ambrosias and our hybrid cantaloupes are probably ambrosias, the Ambrosias right down there at the no. end, yes. right? And then, of course, your hybrid cantaloupe, people have fallen. This is one of my favorites, the yeah, canary, canary, right? Yes, canary And then, of course, sweet. what melon do I love? What's my favorite melon? The Charlotte melon. The Charlotte <laughs> melon. Yes, he knows. How many, time, how many uh, melons do you get off of one plant? Uh, anywhere from three to four Charlotte melons off each plant. All right. Hey, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Tina Makua. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This is yes. my last Saturday with my son. He has been my oh. photographer all all oh, year, and wow. this is my last Thanks. Saturday with him. I don't know who I'm going to get as a photographer. Uh -oh. so, all right, back to you. Well, where's he going? Ah, uh, thank, thank you. Hey, back to you guys. Well, where's he going to go? Is he going to go back up north to college? Hey. Don't go away. He's heading off to college. Yeah, that's right. He's heading off to Oregon State University. Aww. Hey, don't go away. We have plenty more of Good Day Sacramento coming up. All right. Sounds good.